TOEFL Integrated Speaking Task 6, Listening Speaking Academic. You will listen to part of a lecture. You will then be asked a question about it. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. Answer the question clearly and coherently using information from the lecture. Listen to the passage. On a piece of paper, take notes in the main points of the listening passage. Glaciers can only form in polar regions or high mountains. This is because in those areas, summer does not get hot enough to melt all the snow. The glaciers will not be any more than a 30 degree angle on the bottom. If the snow ice mixture is at more of an angle, than that, then it will fall as an avalanche, which means it will crumble and separate. A glacier is only considered a glacier after it has begun moving. Let's talk about the formation of a glacier. Glaciers begin to form when snow remains in the same area year-round, where enough snow accumulates to transform into ice. Each year, new layers of snow bury and compress the previous layers. This compression forces the snow to recrystallize, forming grains similar in size and shape to grains of sugar. Gradually, the grains grow larger and the air pockets between the grains get smaller, causing the snow to slowly compact and increase in density. After about two winters, the snow turns into fern, an intermediate state between snow and glacier ice. At this point, it is about half as dense as water. Over time, larger ice crystals become so compressed that any air pockets between them are very tiny. In very old glacier ice, crystals can reach several inches in length. For most glaciers, this process takes over a hundred years. Eventually, the weight of the glacier becomes so heavy that it begins to move downhill due to the forces of gravity. Using points and examples from the lecture, explain how a glacier is formed. Pause the video to record your response.